So here we are at Fairy House, County Meath, Republic of Ireland for the Bobby Joe. Grade 2 Chase, Big Phil, Crackled, Alex Cherry, Silver Dollar City, Leon Van Rensburg, all the way home, Obi-Wan, Biddyfoot Legend for John Morgan, Dawn of the Warrior, Josh Sutherland, Flintoff Wedding for James Shea, Square, DJ for David Robertson, Vintage Trader for Leon Van Rensburg, Caper Pierce for Darren Thompson, Clan Fraser for Stu Gray, Dawn of the New Age for Joshua Sutherland, Green Tea for David Hooley, Nashville Spice Bird for Vinnie Gerard, Penny Arcade for Alex Cherry, Rock on Susie Q for Graham Clutterbuck, and Shannon's Rose for John Morgan, Makeup 16. To fight for the Bobby Joe Chase. We're going to race him here at Fairy House. Anybody know why it's called Fairy House? No idea. As they get to the first of the 19. A couple of mistakes there. Still not. Vintage Trader went through straight through the top of it. We need to jump better than we ran Rensburg. So as they come down to the second of the 19, they've got to take. This time, uh, a mistake by Cape of Pears. Shuffles back into mid pack. Again, still plenty of reluctant leaders here. This Cape of Pairs pushes back through again. Come to the next. This Cape of Pairs in the lead mode. The open ditch takes it better. We all got over that ditch much better. So it's Cape of Pairs from Nashville Spice Bird. He's outside Dawn of the Warrior. Against the fence is crackled. Most of all is uh, Shannon's uh, Flintoff Wedding in the Green Silks and a couple of John Morgan horses. Shannon's Rose and Biddyford Legends that go over the fourth or so jump by the leader has allowed Nashville Spiceberg to draw alongside. The rest of the pack are pretty close. One just at the rear is all the way home. Widest of all at the moment, I think, is Dawn of the New Age. Josh Sutherland on the inside of that, I think, is Penny Arcade Rax Cherry. So we'll shuffle over towards the row now. We'll approach the fifth. Caper Pears that's going to lead them over it. Well held at Nashville Spice Bird. Go over that. Oh no, we did lose one. Crackled went. I thought the jockey had managed to hang on from his mistake. He got off. So lucky for Alex. Loses one of his horses. He still has Penny Arcade in here. So we go over the six. It's a Cape of Pears that leads them over it. He's got a four length lead from Nashville Spice Bird and Square DJ. And one bit of the legend and Dawn of the Warrior. We want to get over a little bit closer to the rail now. We have on the inside is Clan Fraser. It is Cape of Pears. It's going to lead us over the next. Jumps it well. This is the rest all bar all the way home. To keep his jockey in the plate there for Obi Wan. Uh, just can't see him at the moment. As we go to the eighth, bit of a step over it by the leader. Another mistake there by Leon Van Rensburg's vintage trader. As they come past the winning post, we see a view from the stands. We don't want to be that far away. You're a midget, because I'm sure they're rows. Anyway, it's Cape of Piers and Pears that leads us. Biddeford's Legends moved into the second now. And then Dawn of the Warrior and Nashville Spice Bird. Shannon's Rose. Dawn of the New Age. Wider of that is Flintoff Wedding. And Alex Cherry's Penny Arcade. Square DJ up against the fence running alongside Rock on Susie Q. And then we'll go over the ninth. Starting to get uh, a little bit drawn out now. And this cape appears just by length and a half now to Biddeford Legend. Dawn of the Warrior and Nashville Spice Bird. From top wedding out wide along with Dawn of the New Age. And Penny Arcade and Shannon's Rose. Why there are those who's been to trade on Rock on Susie Q as they go over the ditch. And you've got Square DJ. Up against the fences, Clan Fraser out wide is Silver Dollar City. Between those horses is Green Tea. And all the way home. It's just behind the loose horse crackled. I think we'll go over the 11th. Again, some stickier jumps. We're almost in single file now. It's Cape of Beers at least. Dawn of the Warrior in second. Bit of a legend. Nashville Spice Bird and Vintage Trader. Dawn of the New Age up against the fence. From Toff Wedding. We go over the 12th. There's eight from home. Another mistake by Silver Dollar City at the rear. Shuffles back. Not jumped well that Leon Van Rensburg horse. Winning the Bobby Joe Chase if he continues like that. The one we can't see at the moment is all the way home for Obi Wan. Maybe he's already gone all the way home. But it is Dawn of the Warrior that takes it up now from Cape of Pears. Vintage Trader is third. Nashville Spice Bird still there in fourth. They go over an open ditch. Oh, we lost one, lost two. Rock on Susie Q went and Flintoff Wedding. 
I like it to wear my class back and James Shea. But it's Cape of Pears and Dawn of the Warrior that lead us. Just four to take now. Seven furlongs to run. It's Cape of Pears and Dawn of Warrior over it together. Most of the pack get over it well. Again, Silver Dollar City pets on landing. Not enjoying Fairy House at all. But Cape of Pears takes it back up. Dawn of the Warrior on his outside. They're about three away from Finch's Trader being pushed along there. Shannon's Rose and Bit of Legend haven't asked for anything yet. On the inside is Nashville Spice Bird. One that's got nowhere, from, nowhere to go is Dawn of the New Age. But it's this Cape of Pears that still leads us as we come down inside the five. We're just three to jump as they go over that one. And they will take it well. We might just see all the way home. We don't. And it's Cape of Pears that still leads from Dawn of the Warrior. Here come the John Morgan horses, Biddeford Legend and Shannon's Rose as they move up into second. So it's Cape of Pears you know, over the 17th. We're just two to jump. It's Cape of Pears from Biddeford Legend, Dawn of the Warrior, Dawn of the New Age has got room now. Shannon's Rose, Vintage, tra tra uh, vintage Trader out wide is square. DJ still trying to push through on the inside. Is Nash Nashville Spice Bird, but Cape of Pears is still leading as we come down to the final two furlongs. Cape of Pears from Biddeford Legend, Dawn of the Warrior, Dawn of the New Age, and the outside vintage trader. Paper Pairs jumps it a little bit slow. Biddeford Legend now draws alongside. So inside a furlong and a half, and there's just one to jump. It's Paper Pairs and Biddeford Legend. These two are neck and neck. From Dawn of the New Age, Dawn of the Warrior, and Vintage Trader on the outside. Square DJ trying to run a better jump by Biddeford Legend, and Biddeford Legend inside the final furlong. From Paper Pairs on the inside, Dawn of the New Age, Dawn of the Warrior, but this is Biddeford Legend holding off all challenges inside the final half of furlong. Biddeford Legend, Biddeford Legend, and it is going to be Biddeford Legend. Legend for John Morgan takes the body. Bobby, Bobby Joe Chase. Great two here at Fairy House. Held off all challenges. We had nothing left. So a good win there for John Morgan. My long time leader, Cape of Pears. Followed through by uh, Dawn of the New Age and Dawn of the Warrior for Joshua Sutton. Took third and fourth. And Nashville Spicebird for Vinnie Gerard took fifth. And would you believe it, we're now off to somewhere else. We're off to Thumpwell.